Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We pray that you are in good health. We ask all present to please respect the instructions given by our parish ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers as requested, maintaining a social distance of two meters, and wearing face masks when entering, leaving, or moving from one place to another within the church. At the time of Holy Communion, further instructions will be given. And at the end of Mass, we ask that you please follow the usher's instructions for exiting from the church. Our, pre our presider today is Father Cecil Critch, and our processional hymn is number 476 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Come and Journey with the Savior, number 476. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. To prepare to celebrate the sacred mystery today, we'll ask the Lord to come into our hearts to forgive us all of our sins, particularly those sins against others, against the mercy and compassion of others. We ask the Lord to free us from our sins. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O God, to your servants, 
and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting, for an obligation is laid on me, and woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward, but if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though beating the air, but I punish my body and enslave it so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is number 35 in the Catholic Book of Worship.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully qualified will be like the teacher. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel today, Jesus reminds us of how easy it is to notice the faults of others while being blind to our own failings. Jesus declares that our own failings which prevent us from seeing others clearly should make us slow to become a judge, a moral guide for others. In the image of Jesus, someone with a plank or a log in their eye cannot go about trying to take the splinter or the speck out of someone else's eye. Jesus seems to be saying, work on your own failings first, your own areas of blindness. Then you will be in a better position to be a guide for other people. It is the Lord who heals our blindness and he wants to show us mercy. For that to happen, we need to come before him acknowledging our own blindness, at least asking for the grace to see our blindness. It is only in opening ourselves in this way to the Lord's healing and merciful presence that we can begin to see others Clearly. A recognition of our own failings can make us more understanding of the failings of other people. Jesus could see everyone clearly because he saw them with the eyes of love. And Jesus suggests in today's gospel reading that our inability to see others clearly should make us slow to put ourselves forward as better than them. We should learn to see others as God sees them, to see others with the eyes of Jesus, the eyes of mercy and compassion. We are all called to engage in the ongoing work of personal conversion, which involves a turning more fully towards the Lord every day and all that the Lord stands for. And in turning towards the Lord, we will find ourselves turning away from what is not of Him, because our sin prevents us from seeing the Lord Jesus, seeing as the Lord Jesus sees, with that uh, with eyes of love and compassion. In that sense, we are all blind a bit, aren't we? We do not see clearly in the clear light of God's love. We can so easily get it wrong when it comes to others because as the scriptures tell us, we look at appearances, but it is only God who looks into the heart. Despite our blindness, the Lord looks upon each of us with love and hope, and if we recognize our own failings, then the Lord will renew us in his love. So every day we, like good athletes, from the first reading, that beautiful reading, So we, like good athletes who prepare their bodies for victory in the sporting world, let us work on our spiritual lives, exercise them, perfect them, so that we are able to be more effective evangelizers, preachers of the word of God, preachers of the gospel in our world today. Please stand. Our, wor- our prayers of intercession today, we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop Peter, and all those who lead and guide our church in the world. We pray to the Lord. We pray today for all those who are in the work of evangelization, the spreading of the gospel in our world, especially in difficult and dangerous areas of our world, for the Lord's protection upon them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are, at, who are disadvantaged and affected in a negative way by this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick recommended to our prayers today. We pray for especially George Bradbury, who is recovering from surgery. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, especially those in our own families and friends, and those we now remember in the quiet of our hearts.
we pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray, O God, who in one perfect sacrifice brought to completion the varied offerings of the law. Accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of your servant Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Father most holy through your beloved Son Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. The 
and therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop, the clergy and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every <laughs> evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we offer one another the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter on the mind, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion, a prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe, prudent, and respectful manner, we ask that you please respect and adhere to the following instructions. 
instead of the individual attestation by communicants at the time of receiving Holy Communion, there will be one general attestation for everyone before the distribution begins. Those wishing to receive communion are asked to ensure that their face mask is properly in place before coming forward, remain in their pew until invited forward by the ushers, maintain social distancing of two meters in the communion line, sanitize their hands before receiving Holy Communion. As communicants approach the front of the communion line, we ask that you sanitize your hands, bow towards the host, in silence receive the host in your hands, move to the side to consume the host, return to your pew as directed by the ushers. Any person who cannot receive Holy Communion in the hand is welcome to come forward for a blessing. The Body of Christ. Our communion hymn is number 601 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Gather Us Together, number 601.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have filled with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. We pray to Mary today, Our Lady, for help and protection during the pandemic. O Mary, you always, you always shine, shine on our path to the sign of salvation and of hope. hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Before our final blessing, we are also as Canadians in solidarity today with our American friends and parishioners who uh, remember the events of 9-11 as we continue to pray for peace in our world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go in peace glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is number 471 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Blessed are the pure in heart, number 471. Thank you. 